It's not a big surprise to anyone that there's a lot of bad information out there on the internet and even here on YouTube. But in this video, I'm going to talk about some advice that I'm seeing going around that's going to cause you serious problems and it relates to charge-offs. A lot of people are saying don't pay charge-offs, don't pay collections. I'm going to tell you why that could be really, really horrible advice and some things that you can do instead. But if this is your first time here to my YouTube channel, go ahead and click subscribe. That way you'll be notified each and every week when I put out new videos that'll help you deal with serious debt problems. All right, let's talk about charge-offs. I've done videos on charge-offs before, and I, <laughs> there's, there's very few topics out there where I get more reaction or more like hate comments coming back to me saying that I'm just totally wrong and I don't know what I'm talking about. And clearly this that guy didn't go to law school, uh, because if, if I did, I would know that if a company charges off a debt, then you no longer owe the debt and you can just ignore all those collections that are coming your way. And in fact, recently I've been looking at you know some videos that pop up in my uh, YouTube stream and feed um, that are talking about charge-offs. I see this with a lot of credit repair type companies and they have the big bold headline of never pay collections, don't ever pay charge-offs because you know, you don't owe them and just let them go away and eventually the statute of limitations will run and uh, things will be great. Generally, things are not great. <laughs> they, don't, they don't end up that way. And to, to realize and to understand why this information is such bad advice and bad information these people are putting out on the internet, you need to understand the collection cycle. When a debt like a credit card goes into collections, it's usually internal collections for the first 30 to 90 days. They're calling you on the phone, they're sending you letters. If you've been through that process, you know it's annoying. They, are, uh, they don't ever stop. But uh, after they get to about 90 days, they may farm it out to some other collection agencies. They'll try their uh, part of trying to get this money from you. But if it goes 180 days and they're not able to collect from you, uh, essentially the, from, from the time you made that last payment until now, it's been roughly six months since you've been able to make a payment on it, they are required to charge that off. Let me read you directly from the FDIC Uniform Retail Credit Classification and Account Management Policy. It states specifically, open and retail loans that become past due 180 cumulative days from the contractual due date should be classified as loss and charged off. Okay, so 180 days goes by, no payments made. By law, those credit card companies have to charge off that debt. Now, the, the, the kind of the, the rub on this is understanding what the charge off means and what it doesn't mean. A charge off means that that company is no longer counting your account that a balance owed as an asset on their books. They're saying it's a loss. We're not gonna be able to collect on it. It's uncollectible at this point. And so this helps in making sure that they have a proper valuation of what their company is that they can't treat this big backlog of accounts receivable as an asset that's gonna be collected. They're saying, hey, we haven't collected anything for six months. It's not an asset anymore when we're determining proper valuation of our company. However, if they receive money from you after the fact, if you make some type of payment, then they have to count that uh, as an increase in the overall value. So, but what it doesn't, so it, that, that's what it means. But what it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that the debt is no longer collectible. As long as it's within the statute of limitations of the applicable state, uh, each state has a somewhat different uh, statute of limitations as it relates to credit card companies, even if an account's been charged off, it doesn't mean that it's not collectible anymore. They can still try to call you and ask you to pay. They can sell it to a junk debt buyer. They can file a lawsuit. They can sell it to somebody else who can file a lawsuit. Uh, if, you don't, if you don't believe me, I've spent 20 years defending thousands of these lawsuits. <clears throat> and so, Either the state of Arizona just has it completely wrong, maybe I'm completely wrong, I know I'm not wrong. <laughs> the, these charged off debts can be collected on, they can be sued on. And so this advice of, hey, just ignore these and wait out the statute of limitations, that may work for low dollar collections. You know, if you have an old medical bill that's 150 bucks, yeah, you're not gonna get sued for $150. But credit cards, uh, larger collections, medical bills, deficiencies from car loans that were repossessed, those will often be sold to junk debt buyers and they do file suit. That is their business model. They're not a collection agency that's just gonna call you, call you, call you kind of thing. They are going to file suit and try to garnish your wages and hit your bank accounts. That will happen. And so the advice that I see people throwing out there on the internet of, hey, just, just wait these things out, um, that, that often ends in a lot of heartache. It often ends in wage garnishment. It often ends in bank levy. 
Um, and that's why I put so much information about here about how to fight back against these junk debt buyers is because you have to take action to make this go away. I think deep down we all know that the advice of just don't do anything is probably not a good idea. It feels good because we don't want to have to pay off these collections, but often it's horrible advice as it relates to dealing with these debts effectively. You have debt settlement, you have bankruptcy, you have contesting these things, but doing nothing will often result in disastrous consequences. So I hope that helps when it comes to charge-offs, understanding that just because a debt's charged off does not mean that they can't still try to collect on it. Anybody else who is telling you that on the internet and on YouTube is not being truthful with you. They either don't know or they have some ulterior motive for throwing that out there. So I hope that that helps. If all this information helps you that I provide on the YouTube channel, please go ahead and click subscribe. Um, like I said, each and every week we put out at least one video, sometimes multiple videos that help you deal with these serious debt issues. Thanks for watching today.